Imagine a transcontinental journey lasting 15 hours covering nearly 12,000 kilometers, carrying around 300 passengers from Shanghai to New York or from Beijing to London, but not on a familiar Boeing or Airbus. This journey takes place on the Comac C929, China's ambitious wide-body aircraft. The C929 is more than just a technical project. It is a bold statement ushering in the era of three choices representing the first direct challenge to Western dominance, both technically and economically as well as geopolitically. But what is the true capability of the C929? How can it cover such record distances and can it really compete with the Boeing 787 Dreamliner or Airbus A350? Let's find out. Before diving into the technology, it is essential to understand the historical backdrop of the program because it reveals the strategic pursuit of self-reliance that Comac has followed with unwavering determination. The story of this wide-body aircraft began in 2015 under the name CR929, a strategic joint venture between Comac China and UAC Russia. At the time, the project was seen as an ideal partnership. China contributed the majority of the investment, around 2 billion USD, and provided a massive commercial market, while Russia offered invaluable technical expertise in aerodynamics materials and engine integration built up over decades since the Soviet era. The goal was to create a global competitor sharing risks and leveraging the strengths of both aerospace powers. However, geopolitics intervened brutally. The turning point came in 2022 when the war in Ukraine and heavy Western sanctions upended the collaboration. Russian engineers were reassigned to defense projects, supply chains were disrupted, and political pressure made Moscow's role increasingly uncertain, slowing progress dramatically. For China, this became an expensive but eye-opening lesson about the dangers of dependency, even on strategic partners. The response was a decisive strategic pivot full self-reliance. Russia gradually withdrew and the project was rebranded as C929, with a new goal of domestically producing 100% of all critical components. Initially, this transition faced skepticism and technical hurdles. Many Western analysts doubted China's manufacturing capabilities, but a major turning point came in February 2024 when Comac announced that the aircraft had officially entered flight testing built to international standards, but with fully independent intellectual property. Not only did the aircraft match Western performance, but it also achieved a record-breaking range of 12,000 kilometers, prompting Western media to label it a formidable new rival and a direct threat to the dominance of the Boeing 787 Dreamliner and Airbus A350. So how can the C929 achieve an impressive range of 12,000 kilometers? By the way, please take a second and hit that subscribe button. We know you're going to love what's coming next. This is a core question because such a long range is the result of a deliberate, highly integrated engineering strategy. This capability is built upon the basic formula for aircraft range. The range of an aircraft is directly proportional to its fuel efficiency and fuel capacity, and inversely proportional to its weight. This shows that the impressive range is achieved through simultaneous optimization across three key aspects. The first foundational factor is weight reduction, the materials revolution. To complete intercontinental journeys, the aircraft must carry massive amounts of fuel. Yet every extra kilogram of fuel requires additional fuel to lift that weight. Therefore, the most effective way to fly farther is to significantly reduce the empty weight of the structure. Comac accomplished this through an advanced materials revolution positioning the C929 among the world's most modern aircraft. Specifically, the C929 is the first Chinese aircraft to achieve a major milestone over 50% carbon fiber reinforced polymer CFRP in the fuselage and wing structures. This is a dramatic jump from the mere 12% composite used in the C919, and more importantly brings the C929 on par with top competitors like the Boeing 787 Dreamliner and Airbus A350. Mastering a 50% composite ratio is a significant challenge requiring advanced autoclave technology and precise manufacturing processes to ensure quality and avoid material defects. Comac's success in this area demonstrates serious investment in aerospace materials. In addition to composites, the use of 15% titanium alloys in high load areas, such as wing joints and landing gear, further optimizes weight. Titanium, with its superior strength to weight ratio, enhances structural durability while keeping weight low. In short, a lighter aircraft requires less lift and less thrust, reducing fuel consumption over the journey. This weight reduction forms the foundation that enables the aircraft to achieve a 12,000 km range efficiently and economically. After weight reduction, the next decisive factor is propulsion system efficiency, the heart of the C929 strategy. Historically, China's earlier commercial aircraft, such as the C919, suffered a critical weakness, 
complete dependence on Western engines, specifically the CFM Leap 1C engine from the US-France consortium. With the C929 Comac aimed to eliminate this vulnerability entirely by developing a domestic engine named CJ2000. The CJ2000 is the first high-pressure turbofan engine domestically produced for long-range commercial aircraft. Its successful development is not only a technical achievement, but also a firm commitment to supply chain security and national autonomy, a hard-earned lesson from the geopolitical events of 20-22. In terms of power, the engine delivers up to 35 tons of thrust, putting it on par with the world's most advanced engines, and even surpassing the 33-ton GNX engines that power the Boeing 787 Dreamliner. High thrust is essential for taking off with a heavy payload, including the massive fuel load required for a long-haul flight. Technologically, the engine is designed to achieve a notably lower fuel burn at cruising altitude. This efficiency is expected to be achieved through advanced high-temperature materials in the combustion chamber and turbine blades, along with an optimized high-bypass ratio design. Lower fuel consumption is not only a technical victory, but also translates directly into reduced operating costs for airlines providing a clear economic advantage. However, such ambitious goals come with risks. The engine's flight testing is planned for 2029. If successful, it would mark a historic milestone granting Beijing full autonomy in commercial aviation propulsion, a technological stronghold carefully protected by the West. Conversely, delays in engine development represent the single greatest risk to the entire aircraft program. Ultimately, the link between engine performance and range is undeniable. A high-efficiency fuel-saving engine not only lowers costs, but also allows the aircraft to carry more passengers and cargo. In other words, higher commercial payload while still maintaining the 12,000-kilometer range. However, a lightweight airframe and powerful engines are not enough. The efficiency of long-range flights also depends on how easily the aircraft can glide through the air that is minimizing drag. Comac has placed a strong emphasis on aerodynamic optimization. The C929 features a wingspan of nearly 65 meters significantly larger than some direct competitors. This large wingspan, combined with a sophisticated aerodynamic profile including advanced wingtip designs such as raked wingtips or blended winglets, is engineered to achieve an optimal balance between lift stability and efficiency. This design minimizes air resistance, particularly induced drag, which arises from generating lift. A key metric for measuring this efficiency is the lift-to-drag ratio. The higher this ratio, the farther the aircraft can fly with the same amount of fuel at a given altitude. In short, aerodynamic optimization enhances glide efficiency, allowing the aircraft to maintain cruise speed without burning excessive fuel. This is a subtle but extremely important technical factor for achieving a 12,000-kilometer range economically. Not only that, the C929 is not only designed to fly far, it is designed to fly comfortably, a major selling point aimed at competing directly with comfort-focused aircraft such as the Boeing 787 Dreamliner and Airbus A350. The aircraft boasts a cabin width of 5.5 meters, which surpasses the Dreamliner's 5.28 meters and the A350's 5.34 meters. This wider cabin is a direct commercial advantage as it gives airlines far more flexibility in configuring their seating layouts. For example, in economy class, the C929 can easily adopt an 8 abreast configuration 242, offering noticeably more comfort compared to the tighter 9 abreast layout 333 that many airlines use on the Boeing 787. This translates into wider seats, more generous aisles, and a far less cramped feeling an extremely important factor on long-haul flights lasting up to 15 hours. Beyond cabin space, Beijing is also targeting a range of advanced cabin features to enhance passengers' physiological comfort. These include higher cabin humidity levels, a lower cabin pressure altitude equivalent to 6,000 feet instead of the typical 8,000 feet, and smart LED lighting systems designed to regulate circadian rhythms, thereby reducing jet lag. All these efforts aim to match, or even surpass, the high comfort standards set by the A350 and 787, positioning the C929 as an appealing choice not only for its operating efficiency, but also for its passenger comfort. Despite its impressive capabilities, the harsh reality Comac faces is that its ambition for 100% self-reliance is being severely constrained by the complexity of the global supply chain and the stringent safety certification process. It needs to be said that although Comac has made significant progress in composite materials and engine development, at least in terms of design, the first version of the C929 is still a hybrid model. Specifically, it combines domestically produced core components with a wide range of critical systems imported from the West. 
The C929 remains heavily dependent on Western technology for key systems and avionics. A clear example is its collaboration with Safran France to develop complex braking and oxygen systems, as well as the purchase of cabin door sensors and several other electronic components from Crane Aerospace and Electronics USA. A worrying reality is that among the nine core avionics suppliers, only four are Chinese companies, and the flight control systems, hydraulics, and landing gear also involve extensive participation from international partners. This dependence brings a dual benefit in the early stages. Using proven Western technology helps the C929 more easily meet stringent international safety standards such as those of EASA Europe and FAA United States. Global airlines will only purchase aircraft certified by these authorities. This initial reliance helps COMAC accelerate development and build confidence in reliability. However, the price to pay is increased vulnerability to geopolitical tensions. An export ban on even a small but critical component from the U.S. or Europe, similar to the sanctions imposed on China's semiconductor industry, could instantly disrupt the entire production timeline and operational readiness of the C929. However, the problem does not end with components. It extends to control and international trust. Without full intellectual property ownership over critical systems such as brakes, avionics, or even software design, the C929 cannot truly be considered a fully independent Chinese aircraft. This undermines the technological self-reliance narrative that China is trying to project. Aviation is an industry that demands absolute trust in safety records. Boeing and Airbus have built that trust over decades and tens of thousands of flight hours. COMAC is only at the beginning and any incident involving the C929, even a minor one, will be scrutinized far more intensely. Building a global network of technical support and spare parts storage is also a costly and time-consuming task, requiring cooperation from multiple countries. For Beijing, the road to becoming a major civil aviation power remains long and challenging, because the greatest barrier is not money or materials, but earning trust and ensuring stable operations that are insulated from global political pressures. We have traced the turbulent development of the program from its advances in composite materials and 35-ton engines, to the undeniable reality of its dependence on the global supply chain. Yet these achievements and challenges are only the foundation for COMAC's larger ambition, pushing future variants such as the C929-500-600 and 700 toward a fully domestic production model. If this plan succeeds, Beijing will gain far more than a new wide-body aircraft. It will secure an independent sanctions-proof supply chain, a strategic asset in an era of rising geopolitical uncertainty. And at that point, Boeing and Airbus will confront a threat they have never faced before a low-cost, wide-body competitor completely detached from Western technology and backed by the world's largest industrial base. The competition would no longer be just about pricing or performance. It would escalate into a geopolitical contest for influence in the skies. How would you feel if the next aircraft you board is the Comac C929? Thank you for joining us. Wishing you safe and enjoyable flights.